Reabsorption is the movement of substances out of the renal tubules into the paratubular capillaries located around the tubules. Water, glucose, sodium, chloride, and other nutrients are examples of substances that are reabsorbed during this process. There is a repeated pattern for reabsorption. First, positively charged ions, like sodium, are generally actively transported out of the tubule and into the blood. Then, negatively charged ions, like chloride, follow the large positive charge into the blood due to electrostatic attraction. Then, water follows by osmosis. In the proximal convoluted tubule, the sodium and chloride are transported out of the tubule into the blood. Then, water follows. In the loop of Henle, the pattern repeats itself. Sodium and chloride are transported out of the tubule into the blood. Then water follows. Finally, in the distal convoluted tubule, it's the same thing again, but this time it is regulated by a hormone called ADH. Sodium and chloride are once again transported out of the tubule into the blood. Then water follows. In total, approximately 99% of water that leaves the blood by glomerular filtration returns to the blood by reabsorption. This leaves about 1% of the filtrate to be excreted as urine. Absorption occurs through active or passive transport. Sodium ions and other ions are only partially reabsorbed from renal tubules. As an example, sodium ions are actively transported back into the blood from the tubules. The amount of sodium reabsorbed varies depending on salt intake. The greater the salt intake, the less the amount of sodium reabsorption. The less the salt intake, the greater the amount of sodium reabsorption and the less sodium secreted in the urine.